This is a test page for the new Libog Play OG and Analytics Media Player for Firefox. Unlike most other media plugins, ours does not provide any form of control UI. So there's no play or pause button or timeline showing you where in the movie you are. Instead, all movie controls are implemented in HTML and use JavaScript to talk to the plugin. This allows for maximum flexibility when designing web pages with video content as part of them. This test page here has a bunch of buttons, and most of these correspond directly to a JavaScript method available to page designers. So the plugin provides programmatic access to all of the usual stuff, like play, pause, and restart. We can change the current movie, say to this cute little stop motion animation. We can ask how far into the current movie we are. We can change the volume. We can ask about the total length of the movie, and we can find out also how much we've buffered up so far locally. But I'd like to concentrate on three quite cool features that the plugin provides. First of all, we have time anchored annotation support. Annotations are just time aligned text content uh, embedded within the video files. I'll switch over to this introduction to the open source forum in 2005 in Sydney and register a CMML annotation. Now, every time that Pia here introduces a new speaker, we'll actually get a little piece of text and a link that describes that speaker and, and links off to that speaker's talk. And this, this text is programmatically rendered via JavaScript and inserted into the current web page. So you'll see in a minute that Pia introduces a new speaker and a new piece of text pops up. And this text is actually aligned to specific time points within the video. I'll just switch off that callback. Next we have program programmatic playlist support. Uh, this test page here is set up to provide us with an automatic playlist, which we'll get now. And uh, we can jump forwards and backwards in this playlist, like so. And of course, as you'd expect, when a, a video in the playlist reaches its end, we automatically move on to the next video, like so. Uh, we also have quite a full-featured playlist API, so we can do things like append movies, uh, replace movies using set current movie. We can insert movies at certain points, remove mov movies at certain points. And we also have these freeze and unfreeze playlist calls. And these just ensure that the playlist doesn't change state while it's being modified. And finally, I'll just reload and introduce another cool feature that you get if you're using an analytics based uh, media server, which we are here. And that feature is server side seeking. Now, say we only want to see a movie from 45 minutes in, and we only want to see three minutes of that movie. Analytics allows us to construct a URL that refers to exactly that period of time for a specific movie, and then the server will stream exactly that period of the movie across to the client. Now, in this example, I will construct a playlist of movie fragments like this, and we'll just move into the first one of them. And you'll see that each movie plays for a certain period of time and then moves over to the next movie. So the first one is the OSS forum intro, between 10 and 20 seconds. Now we're in CC film for the period between 0 and 7 seconds. Now we've moved over to a new computer for 15 seconds, starting at 60 seconds. And finally, we jump back across to OSS forum intro for a period from 30 to 40 seconds. Again, I'm sure you can see lots of cool ideas that you could do using this feature, uh, for example, online video remixing. Thank you for watching.